Well, it's not great audio, but it's audio. And at least I can hear what's going on in the game uh, now that I had a conversation with my audio system. As crappy as it is, sometimes you just gotta go crap. Because, damn it, I want to fly to Alia. Because I kind of have to. Alright. Let's get on with this adventure. I got prints to make. And prints to plug in, and prints to collect. And if my base would load in, I'd be much happier. Um, we can retrieve that one. But these other three are still cooking. And cooking, and cooking, and cooking. And I guess I need more warp cell prints. And they're all going to get lumped together. Fifteen batches. Probably next week sometime I would have enough prints. Sometime next week. Can we maybe load in? Or maybe we don't need to. I don't know. Who the hell cares? Um, I'm not really hauling ore between things. I just need to be there. What do you know? We have, we have fuel. We have warp cells. We have some. Super awesome. I get the feeling we don't really have what we need here. Um, can I maybe have Archud? Is that possible? You never can tell. And why am I not lifting off the ground? Becomes the next question. So we're gonna help right now, Jack. Just just used a block. Oh, my brakes? Where are my fucking brakes? Alright. 
Where are my controls and where are my brakes? Control for brakes. Is it glued to the fucking ground? I ship used to just hop up off the, off the pad the moment I let the brakes up. So what the hell? It's your story. Alright, this one does. Keep it hop off the pad. Obviously, need data. No, oh, that's lovely. Why is that not working? Should be working. Mm -hmm. 
whatever, dude. I'm trying to fix it. Shut the fuck up, computer. And there are two forty ones. Got a few address. My PV four. Properties ten zero two two point one blah blah blah. So what the fuck? Show me the status. Pretending not to have an IP address is not going to help us. Going on. Whatever, dude. Just give me the file. Okay, I need um, alias. Tile center. school.
It's not even so much old school, it's more like preschool. Where's my cursor? Now I see a cursor. They saved my life. Well, maybe they broke some stuff. Oh, there's my cursor. Awesome. Wow, I did forget. One with several of my settings. Ooh, not too far, not too far, not too far. Let's not go careening back into the plant. So we do before we die, because that's always fun. Uh, speed limits are good. What more than might care about? I'll take off. Yes. We play of so. Of course, none of this is going to matter until I get up. It's going to be built in. Oh, 
all toward autopilot. Make it take me to Alias. Halt J. Passengers and mobilization starting. Altitude hold is warp sequence initiated. Sequence completed. Passengers released. to hold and pitch all the way to fucking that big. Oh, all six is altitude hold. Well, I used to know all that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Let's do autopilot. Alt 6, Alt 2, Alt, blah, 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 not sure what's not showing up. On their help, but it doesn't. Keep in mind, I'm probably going to die. It's one of the things I do best in games. Shields. Probably by 
into first person. Funny how the little shuttle I bought from someone in the game several months ago doesn't seem to work, but the ship I built does. They must have changed the game physics again.
of course, you have to keep in mind that flying your ship is an online process, so uh, if their servers burp, you're going to crash. Possibly die. Which I think is a, a bad game design feature on their part, given the way that other games work. I mean, No Man's Sky, just about everything is offline, so their servers boop, burp, who cares? Nothing bad's gonna happen. And ships don't crash in No Man's Sky. You cannot crash your ship and, and destroy it in that game, which I like. You cannot make a mistake in that game that's gonna cost you anything. I mean, it is possible to try to do in a glitch, you might lose some, but hey, that, that's glitchy. That's glitchiness, who cares? In this fucking game, it's server's burp. Who knows what's going to happen? You could be on approach to Alioth, trying to land to do whatever, maybe dropping out for picking up or whatever. You got a full ship. Autopilot burps. Hey. Maybe you crash, maybe you don't. This thing handles my shields, which I might as well turn off. Shield deactivated. Okay, so now I need to move ore from. Tile's got almost nothing, so we're in good shape. <clears throat> Okay, grab all of this and move it. And then I can come back here and try to give my fuel factory running. Well, I really can't because this character is full up on everything. This character can't do shit about shit. Something over here, uh, which is where over here. You can only make five blueprint copies at a time, and when you're done doing that, you're done doing that. So, this character can either run a fuel factory and have fun with that, or I can try to run my warp cell factory, and that'll take. A week, maybe two, to get all the prints. In the meantime, I don't even need to be in this game. Because there's nothing to do.
but mine or. And sell it to someone who's got money. And then there should be something. Why it can't stay in the view I want? I don't know. Maybe it's just difficult. I mean, back when this game would allow you to do just about whatever you wanted to do, it was, it was kind of fun. Crash, you know, crash prices on various products. Just because I could, now it's going to be difficult. Probably not worth doing. I mean, it's kind of a pretty game, as far as that goes. And what the fuck is this? Oh. And I have a center hub where I put all the ore that I mine. And that's where it's going to sit. space I'll just plug in more containers I got a shitload of containers or you could spend your time mining ore from all the pretty rocks you could do that all day That's always fun. Used to be there was a glitch where you hit the escape key while you're mining, and the mining beam would stay on, but they call that cheating now, so that's not fun. collecting or every two weeks so I'm just trying to figure out how often or how long I have until I need to add more storage at this point and the central hub where I'm collecting this ore is in the center of these five tiles because this character has the, the, enough skills to uh, stretch a link to the central hub back to each of these tiles. And unfortunately, it seems you can't do that in surrogate section. if it would be on the view I want it to be. You know, the last view that I was using, maybe I'm going to use it again. You never can tell. Huh. It always blows me away when game developers don't waste any of their time playing their fucking game.
I mean, why they can't see what's annoying to a typical player. I mean, I don't like doing the same shit over and over and over. I think I've already got everything from that one where I just was. Now I can go back and uh, pick up my ship in the center here. Does it work? Bum, bum, bum. What was this? This is, I think, this is it. Yeah. Um, yeah, this guy can't do shit with anything now. Because making all the prints I can make, can't make any others. But I still need, I still need fuel. Also blows me away that the game developers thought that they would have some kind of an economy if, if, if it were just players participating, that somehow uh, the economy would take care of itself. I mean, what fucking universe is the economy ever taking care of itself anywhere? This game needs an NPC economy to allow players to get started. You should be able to sell your ore directly from your base to a magic NPC that will take your ore away and give you money. And if you can do that, then you'd have a chance of being able It's not fucking automatic. You'd have a chance at being able to be in the game. If you could do that. It wasn't a problem for me because I just broke all the fucking rules. Your typical player is not going to know how. Not going to be able to. Breaking the rules is not going to be one of the things your typical player is going to do. I got no Kerbins. What the hell? I got an X3. Well, pardon the fuck out of me. I have two of those. Let's see any the others. I don't want all since I've touched this ship. I should be able to throw some mix to that. Top off. And warp cells. I don't have any here. 
do have some there. I do need uh, a bit more of this. Let's see. Yeah, I do have some people in here. Might as well take that with me. Um, where's my rocket fuel? Get the feeling that's going to be outside. What's the story with this fucking automatic door? What was automatic? What the hell? There's supposed to be a sensor, and that opens it up. And this is supposed to. Turn the force field on automatically, but apparently it doesn't do any of that. I don't know what we're doing. Well, that takes care of that. Okay, took care of that. Come back in two weeks. Meanwhile, after I land, there's nothing more for me to do in this game, and I'm going to switch to uh, No Man's Sky. Spend a little time there. I'm going to do some base building after I'm done here. Uh, I need to set my warp point. We're getting there is going to be a bit slow. Not incredibly, but I don't have enough fuel. So, yeah, the, the latest change in the game, slow it way the fuck down. And why not? It was way too freewheeling. Why they don't just, why they didn't have controls in the game? 
built in like why is there a large core that you can put you can put factory elements on almost seems like maybe you should be able to build a mega factory but no that was never part of the design obviously because of the latest changes maybe if you're gonna have large cores don't put any factory elements on it because it's kind of stupid or limit the number of factory elements you can put onto a large core are we trying to get to sanctuary are we just gonna crash back into Alioth um fuck you game I want to go somewhere else shit crash me back into the damn planet I'm kind of fucking autopilot you have things is just gonna crash me back into the damn planet and stall me out and watch me fucking die what the hell what the fuck What the hell was that about? I was set up to go to Sanctuary. I said autopilot me and flew me back into the goddamn planet. Fucking piece of shit. Goddamn piece of shit, man. <laughs> Holy fuck. Now I get to go waste time getting a fucking ship repaired that's fuck knows where on this goddamn planet or where I don't want to be. A fucking piece of shit. What the hell is this? I don't even know why I had that on me. You can only compactify one at a time. You can't compactify two of them. Stupid fucking autopilot ran me into the back into the damn planet, man. Did I crash? Uh, must be. Oh, that's something else entirely. That's something else. That's here. Uh, 
that's here, 38 meters from here. Must be this one. you're going to switch games. You're of course not going to because now you have to waste your fucking time trying to put something back together. see this game ever becoming anything but a curiosity I don't know how they're gonna make money with it I don't give a fuck about the players where we fucking go to where we need to fucking go or are we gonna run into a fucking building and crash because the game suddenly doesn't know what it's fucking doing come on man it's a fucking building just fly around it why do you have a fucking autopilot if you're not going to autopilot Is this fucking thing not gonna fly now? What the hell? Lift off the damn ground and not fly. This fucking thing used to work better than this. Jeez Louise, man. What did they do to the fucking game? Like, holy fucking shit. So that's a pile of trash. What's this fucking thing story? I don't even know. Alright, so nothing I used to fly is gonna work with a fuck. trying to balance weights and things various parts of fuselage and bullshit what the fuck come on man get out of the fucking tree A 
piece of shit. And this is a ship I bought from a, a player several months ago, and now it's just a fucking piece of trash. It used to at least work. Now it doesn't work for fucking shit. Fortunately, or not, I can just tip it on the ground and come back in an hour. Oh, it must be because I have the extra fucking weight from this shit. I need scrap to get it up and running and it's probably not letting me fly because I have scrap in my backpack I got that fucking thing this fucking shit Well, at least didn't get rid of my print. That's nice. See if the extra weight theory holds. the hell? That's lovely. Yeah, they didn't really explain. Pick it up, please. Yeah, that's now trash. Well, it's supposed to be a fucking pocket rocket. I think I've got a better one back at my main base on Sanctuary, but fuck. seems to be the closest. That'll allow me to hop on a fucking shuttle. 35 kilometers on foot. What the fuck is that? I'll see. No, oh, that's not it. Some fucking bitch. What 
automatically lets you cruise along on foot. What the shit? Control Z. Auto sprint. Control Z. Alright. So now I have to go to the nearest shuttle, go back to my main base, see if I can pick up a different pocket rocket that will work, come back on shuttle, take the pocket rocket to where my ship crashed. As long as I can carry scrap in my backpack, maybe get that ship back up and running with the scrap I've got in my backpack. And keep in mind, if you're a new player and can't afford scrap, you are fucked. Your ship has crashed. If that was your only ship, you're fucked. Point being, do not trust the autopilot for shit in this game. And game physics can change at any point in time. That's sand or snow, I can never figure out. I mean, it looks like sand. But it's at the top of this hill. So is it supposed to be snow? If you have to be on one, one of the outer planets and this happens, there are no shuttles. You need a friend to give you a ride, which I could switch to one of my alts and they could pop on one of their ships and they could give me a ride because if I'm on the ship and I log off, then I'm on the ship. Because the character persists to whatever core it happens to be sitting on while it logs off.
So it used to be you could build stuff while your factory was running, but now you can either run your factory or you can get building materials, but you can't do both. Unless you have a super tiny factory with one assembler. Three smelters and one assembler. And maybe you can produce honeycomb while all that's running. But that's it, man. Or you can wait three or four days till you have all your prints. And then maybe you get to do some building three or four days down the road. Okay, I guess I can do something else while that's not I guess I'm tired of complaining about it. Until my character gets stuck or it ends up where it needs to be. Alright, back to what I was doing in the real. I need to find a virtual machine. Um, I think. Last time I was here, I knew where that was. Um, oh, we're stuck on a tree. What the fuck? Well, let's try this one. Are we stuck in another fucking tree? <laughs> Game developers are too lazy to make you go around trees? What the fuck? No, man, you're gonna hit the tree. Dot 183, that is the right virtual machine. It's exactly where I want to be. And let's see if we have. We have that. can't even cast a ray directly in front of the player that's backpacking automatically and maybe move them left or right to get around whatever sitting in front of it. Can we not do that maybe? Is that too difficult game developers? Do you not know how to do that? I mean, why don't we know how to do that? Is that, is that like incredibly um, fucking like ridiculous? can do that I was doing that shit 25 years ago and I I'm not even a game developer I had my own fucking tribe server where, where it was highly modified 
I had a disc launcher in the game that was heat seeking. And I had to figure that shit out. I took six or eight months of just trying to figure a way to make it happen. I finally did. And a lot of people played it back in the late 90s. Yeah, can we get another fucking tree? seems to be the right one. Okay. So I found my virtual machine. Meanwhile, we traveled nine kilometers. And keep in mind, this isn't even the fun part yet. The fun part's going to be fixing a ship that couldn't have crashed. Because they're they're fucking autopilots too stupid to know when there's a planet right in front of the trajectory you want to be at. What's that supposed to be on the, on the right there? <laughs> Is someone building it or tearing it down? I can't tell them. Oh well, man, we put it in the game, but we didn't think anybody would ever use it for this. So many kilometers per hour. Wow, that's great. That's nice and fast. For a backpack. Which means the trip would take about 30 minutes. When I'm not stuck on a tree.
I might be a little faster. Brief periods. Occasionally I can go a hundred kilometers per hour. In case you're just tuning in, this is what you might have to do if you're on Alioth and your ship crashes because the AI is too stupid to pilot you away from a planet to another moon or planet or something. And it just fucking dumped me onto Alioth and I died. And so now I'm trying to get to a district shuttle so I can get back to Sanctuary to pick up another pocket rocket so I can come back and try to rescue that ship that crashed. And this is my next two hours, obviously. I've never seen an orbital tether from the ground, but there's one ahead. And yes, this is a viable mode of transport, believe it or not. Good, th good thing I don't live on one of the outer planets or moons. They have no shuttles. You lose a ship when you're out there. You don't even bother to try to find it. Which means you need to have a Resnode somewhere where you can get back to your home base. Which means you need to have a tile sitting somewhere on the nearest planet or moon where you have a resnode and a spare ship so you can get back in the game or you're just not going to be in the game. say that orbital tether is pretty cool. It's a good bit of dedication to the game. I've got the same thing, but it's an it's a it's an orbital elevator. Who even knows if it works now? Because I picked that up like four months ago. The game has changed a lot, so it might not even work.
You gotta say, when you're bouncing off the ground like I am now, you kinda bounce off trees, too. is a very big orbital tether. That's a relic of the past, built back in the heyday, when this game might have been fun. And you probably had to stick about 200 large cores on top of each other just to make that happen. Every time you see another platform, like you can see uh, five or six of them there at the bottom, those are each large cores. So he's got to have um, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, maybe 11 large cores stacked on top of each other just to get the base. Which means it was built by a fucking corporation. Why does he have it floating? I should be able to see the, the thing attached to the ground, but it's not. It's just got it floating. That's kind of weird. Probably started building it from the ground up, and then he had to cannibalize some cores. Let's bounce through the trees. I'm taking another 10 minutes. And the joy of being in a beta means, I mean, they're going to change the game engine a lot. They're going to change the physics engine a lot. Anything you think you might have that works today might not work tomorrow. I had a pocket rocket I had to leave behind because it just doesn't work anymore. If it weren't for the fact that I like the ship that crashed, I'd probably just trash it. But I like it, I don't want to have to rebuild it. It's actually more work to rebuild it than the other thing.
right, that's fine, but I have other things to do. Um, I need to get connected to this VM in the rail so I can do some work with it. Um, where am I connected to this becomes the question. It's IPR. Uh, no, no, because that's in containers. Mm -hmm. Playground also. That's no JS. Okay. Oh, I think I was building some fucking thing for some kind of a programming challenge of some fucking kind. Oh, I never tried hopping through water. Let's see what happened. Wow, don't even slow down in the water, but that's pretty cool. Someone planted their their territory claim. At the bottom of the lake. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Because some of the tiles are just fucking underwater, man. You claim a tile underwater, what, what else are you gonna do? You have to put the tile claim gizmo somewhere. Deep underwater. Okay, I think this one needs to uh, just kind of fucking be itself. What are we doing with uh, source control? Uh, nothing. Okay. Well, this I think I can get rid of. So, uh, I don't need this. Let's close the remote connection. And then uh, we connect to host. Um, actually, uh, yeah, I need to. Uh, it's going to be in two Docker containers on that machine, so. project in, yeah. So connect to host. Connect current window to host. Uh, don't play ground. Okay. I mean, all they'd have to do is game developers is do a ray cast exactly in front of the character where the crosshairs are 
And when anything is within, I don't know, 10 meters, all you have to do is jump. I mean, that's all that I have to do. Oh, I'm going to stick for a second. Gotta get some blood into my ass. Oh, it's circulation. And where the fuck are we going? Should be a district around here somewhere. Shit. Are we gonna stop because I'm trying to look at a fucking map? Where are we? Oh, uh, this shouldn't be a district. Right here. What the fuck is this? It's over there. I mean, part of this game is kind of a marvel of engineering. The rest is just they've dropped the fucking ball on the damn ground. It's like they almost think they want to care about the players, but then they don't. I mean, they thought they wanted to take this game live uh, two months ago. I don't think they can do that today. They advertise like shit. That they were finally in beta. Come and play the game. And then they just yanked the rug out from people. Which, I don't know why that wouldn't be the conclusion. Alright. I don't want to be over there, but where the fuck? Should be a teleporter. Get me to the district. Finally, I'm at a shuttle. Where I can go back to Sanctuary. But I need to be at Market 7. That'll be a pain in the fucking trousers. Because Sanctuary 7 is close to where I live. And it'll be another 30 kilometers by backpack. Which I think I might just get a ride from an alt. Because that's not going to be fun. Which means I'll have to switch characters and bring my alt to. Sanctuary Market 7. Hop on that hop on that dude's ship if I can. Log off. And then fly myself back to my home base. If I can do that. I don't know if I can. I don't know if any of my alts have that kind of ship. Of course, I could always just buy me another ship and fly to my main base, but, um, fuck. I guess I'm gonna stay. So, I'm gonna stand here. 
and switch characters. Sorry, but you can't see anything. Who am I? Do we even know? Oh, well, Cabby Smack, too. Got it. That's who I am. Let's see if this fucking thing don't fly. I haven't flown this in yeah, so long. This may be at 2,000 meters. I have to go and do this. Let's see if this works. I've never tried it. Can I hop on a friend's ship and log off and go for a ride? That's the question. And where will I be when I log on? If I can do any of that. I'm kind of surprised this thing even flies. I can hop on a friendship. Uh, is it cool or is it just pathetic? Of course, I'm doing work on the machine while I'm doing this because, you know, some of this is like slow. Yeah, let's not hit the AGE ship this time. And then my friend is on the corner right below me. He's not logged in. And since my friend is me, I'm going to be my own friend. I might even be my best friend. You never can tell. I need to line up on this thing. I'm gonna land somewhere I don't wanna be. Let's see if I can get to uh, a place where I can take off. And then I'll log off. And then my friend, who is me, will hop on. And then he will log off. And then I will fly us both to where we want to go. And then I will log off. And he will log on. And let's see if that works. Because I've done it before. Let's 
So I'm gonna log off. You don't get to see any of that. And let's see if I can stow away on the ship I down out. Friday Witch. I always wanted a witch in my life. Thank you very much for following. All right, where's the ship? There's my friendship right there. Let me see if I can stow away on my friendship. Yes, I don't own this ship. He does. Well, let's see if I can stow away somewhere. Um. I'm just gonna hop on. I'll be right here. And then I'm gonna log up. And he's gonna fly me to where I wanna go, even though I'm not even logged on. Let's see if that works. I think it will. Because when you log off, you're going to persist somewhere. You're going to persist to a core. And sometimes a planet or a moon is the core. Because that's how they made planets and moons. So, now my friend's going to hop on. He doesn't know I've stowed away. And let's see if he can take me for a little ride. Even though I'm not even logged on. wanted to do this like in the game and get, get somewhere you'd have to know when the other person logged in yes because you wouldn't be able to see because you're not logged in and if you log in when the other person's in flight, they can just hit a keystroke and deboard you, and then you fly off, maybe potentially into space, which is all kinds of fun. But now there's nobody to deboard. Because the person who stowed away is not even logged in. This guy could take me to my ship on Alioth, but he doesn't have that kind of ship. This is atmospheric only. Yep, we're in right now. And that's where I want to go, right down there. He lives near there too. He's going to land. And after, after my friend logs logs out, then I'm going to log back in. Let's see where I am. I'm either going to be back at the market or I'm going to be on this ship.
I think I'm going to log in standing on this guy's ship in the exact spot I was in when I logged out. That's what I think. But chat, you can tell me if I'm right or wrong, man. Where do you think I'm going to be when I log in? Because I stowed away on my friendship here. as we gently walked out of the sky. Okay, now my friend landed. He doesn't know I've stowed away. And he's done for the day, so he's gonna log out. I'm either gonna be back at the market. Or on this guy's ship. Let's see. What do you think, chat? Where am I gonna be? What the fuck? I'm standing on a ship I stowed away on. Look at that shit. It didn't even load in yet, but I stowed away on my friend's ship. He flew me to where I wanted to be because this is where he lives. I persisted to the dynamic core that I happen to be standing on, which is that ship. Isn't that cool? I think that's cool. This is exactly where I wanted to be. This is exactly where I live. Right here, man. This is my place. Where's my other pocket rocket? Did I give it away to someone? I'm going to give it away to someone. Yet. That sucks. Hmm. It means I'd have to build one. Son of a bitch. Oh, I know who I gave it to. That asshole lives on Haven. All right, where's the print? Do I have a print? Um, data. Pocket rocket mark one. Uh, could that be it? I don't know. I guess we have to try to equip it. Um, what do you mean no tool? Have all the parts, don't we? No, we don't. I need three landing gear access. Okay. Got a point there. Alright, yeah, that might be the right one. Three landing gear XSs. Should be some in my factory. Which means if you could infiltrate your friend's base and you're going to go to war with them, you could hop onto your friend's ship and log out. And if you knew when he was going to be at battle in space, 
you can hop on a ship and who knows what you can do maybe nothing but you could definitely stow away not logged in again I'm sure the game developers would call that a cheat or an exploit but hey that's the way the game works man don't they'll, they'll come trying to me landing gear Oh, I got landing gear. I need three XS. I'll take ten. Thank you. All right. So where can I where can I deploy this? Got all the parts. Equip. No equip tool can use this item. Why the fuck not? It's a number eight. No equip tool can use this item. Because I need to make a print. I need to make a print. That's because the blue thing is not a print. Make me a pocket rocket. I think it's kind of the right one, too. Let's see if it flies. After feeling it. How many nitron? I do. Okay. And we fly it. Uh, we don't have the right gets loaded up on it. Auto config, arch hardness. Now, let's try the bullshit again. Hey, we got we got something. We lift off the ground. Why fuck for shit we can. I must be missing some fuel. It's only 80% what the shit. Is there another fuel tank somewhere? I see one sitting there. How many fuel tanks do we have? Um, elements. Uh, two advanced military engines. Data bank. Uh, air brakes. One Atmo fuel tank. Um, I have to apply, reapply talents. Is that going to make a difference? I only have one ample fuel tank. It says it's 100% full. Like, what the fuck? Can I take some nitron with me, maybe? Maybe 800 liters. Would that be against the rules? And my scrap? No, it's going to say 80%. Well, fuck me. I need some data. I 
need to get back to Sanctuary 7 so I can hop in the shuttle and put my pocket rocket in my pocket. Hence the name Pocket Rocket. Since I was able to fool the game into thinking that I needed to be here. So I hopped on my friend's ship and stowed away. Probably get banned from the game now. Oh no, that would be terrible. Because then I could stop doing this. Virgil invites you to eat my entire ass. Okay, well, um... I would say pucker up, buttercup, and um, you can go fuck yourself. So if you want to say that kind of shit to me, then you can either pucker up or fuck off. And since you're not in a position to pucker up, I'd say fuck off. Because all you're going to do is make me horny. You know, if you're not going to follow through, then I don't care. Um, I don't need to be horny for no reason. I mean, that kind of talk is going to get me excited. Hey, this pocket rocket actually seems to fly. That's fucking amazing. And why not? Because I built it. I need to be under a thousand meters or I'm going to run into that AGG shit. Yeah. So now I can hop in a shuttle, Market 7, go back to District 2, and take my pocket rocket out, hop in it, fly 75 kilometers, go to where my ship crashed and fix it. I would say, well, deny that, and again, Friday Witch. Thank you very much for following me, but, um, I'll even report you, what the fuck. Shit, I don't even have a reason to tell them to report you. Fuck me. What about, I have to stand, oh. Wow. Okay. Now we can continue the adventure. Add block term. Yes, I did it. I did add the term ass. Not that I would turn you down if we were in the same room. I'd say whip it out.
just the kind of guy I am. Compactify! Thank you. I need to go to um, Alioth. Thank you. I mean, if I had a chick stand next to me somewhere going, I cordially invite you to eat my ass, it's a whip it out, baby. I'm betting you won't do it. I might even cordially invite you to suck my dick. And you can bet I will whip it out. So don't say it if you don't mean it. Alright, I'm thinking... I'm thinking uh, District 2. Now that I'm back on Alioth. where I can fly to my destination at a thousand kilometers per hour. And it'll still take fuck forever to get there. Um, anywhere here. Oh, I need to whip out my pocket rocket. in my super boxy design. Now I need to grab my data so I can get my coordinates of my lost crash ship that I hope are correct, because who knows? Uh, down at the bottom of the list. Which you can't see because you're not, you're not paying me enough money to see it. Sorry. I can't just show you everything for free. Crash up coordinates. Hop back out. Hop back in. Uh, temp crash. Pippity bop. Throttle up. Let go of the brake. Get up to altitude. Get autopilot and hope it doesn't kill me. Because it might. You never can tell. Autopilot. Oh, it's only 0 0.6 SU. That'll take forever. Fuck it. Obviously, I'm on the wrong side of the planet, but hey, that's life. It's still only going to take six minutes. Now, uh, there are things on Ilioth to crash into, so one does have to be careful. People have managed to build all kinds of neat, wonderful things that'll reach up from the ground and cordially invite you to eat their ass.
and say, hey, baby, I, I think what we need to do here is uh, I've, I've got a wet nap. Um, I think we should um, use that before I attempt to cordially eat your ass. So in the meantime, um, I need to find a project I need to stick on this thing. Where is my uh, it's, it's kind of in the neighborhood there. Like my repositories. Private repo. Yeah, that's what I was looking for. It's been a while. Yeah, the free stuff that's available to everybody is complete. Good stuff is in my private repository. I hope my ship is where it's supposed to be. That would be nice. Now that I've got the right pocket, right, I can destroy those other two because they're not working on the ship. Yeah, this is the right one right here. Yeah, I do believe so. So let's clone this in this VM. Shits. I might. If I don't, it's going to be a bad day. So I have to set up an SSH key. Yes, I do think I have to. Where in the fuck did I go down? Mountains? That sucks. I bet that hurt. Probably broke my 
back clear in two and open and bleeding all over the place. Ugh. Glad I wasn't conscious. All right, what am I gonna, what am I gonna get my need here? Hmm. I think I need, I think I need something. Um, wrong place. That could be the right place. Are we gonna land? In the mountains. Oh, look at that. Is that my ship down there? Wow. In the voxelated mountains. Floating off the ground. Yeah, let me, uh, let me pocket rocket this. Come back, bye-bye. Thank you. I don't know if I have enough scrap to fix this thing. Wow, well, that's just, that's just bad. Um, not, it's not in range. Do I have to retrieve this thing? How do I retrieve? this thing called now once again. Um, 48.34 meters it must be this guy. Can I fetch? Would that be nice? Did we oh we fetched it. Fuck. That's so nice. Don't bounce it around on the ground. It's a damaged ship. I said retrieve, I didn't say bounce it around like it's a fucking toy. I have scrap. You know, not sort of way. You got achievements. We trashed your fucking ship for you because we're too stupid to build an autopilot that works halfway states. But now we're giving you attaboy points. Yeah, fucking baby. trust an autopilot. It's a good thing I have enough money to play with and fuck around in this game where I don't actually need to make money because that would never fucking Trust me, if you go on the black market and find the in-game money, this game's a lot more fun. I don't know why the game devs haven't figured out that all they have to do is sell in-game money, and they'd probably have people throwing fucking money at them. It's not like it would hurt the economy, and there's no fucking economy to hurt. So you think you want to be in the game and do stuff, huh? Fuck you. We're going to slow it all down. We're going to slow it all down. Try that bullshit now. Uh, dare you. I dare you. 
We slowed it down, man. You think it's fun? Uh, I don't, it's not fun. You think this is a game? It's not a game. Not a game. I thought it was a game, sir. Idiot player, it's not a game. It's not a game. Or play a game, go do No Man's Sky. Now that's a game. Nobody stowed away on this thing. I guess they didn't figure that people would log off on a ship they don't own. It never occurred to anybody that that would ever fucking happen. Like, why would anybody do that? They came up with a button you can press to kick people off your ship and deport them. You can't deport them if they're not logged in. I might have enough scrap to fix this. I have hit loads of scrap though. I prepared for the apocalypse. Wampus. Apparently we cannot. Maybe we can. Open. Let me in. Let me close. damage report. Only 99 more things to fix. Why we have seats where people can sit on your ship is beyond me. All they have to do is enter the core, log off, and you can have an infinite number of people ride with you. I mean, if 100 million people could have accounts, they can all take a ride with you. Not logged in, by the way. I'd like to see the game developers fix that one. I know they're 
there's a screen here. I want to fix it. It must be outside. I found that little quirk in the game by accident. But most game glitches, I mean, the developers don't even have a clue what they're doing or why. Don't spend any time thinking about it. It's like you're persistent to whatever core you happen to be standing on when you log off. But then they don't go take to the next step of what would happen if someone were to enter a ship they don't own. It's just sitting there. You don't want to steal it, but you want to go for a ride. And you log, you log, up, you log off. And you're persistent to that core. You're persistent to a core you don't own. Like, they don't even fucking give it a first thought. Obviously, that's a glitch or an exploit. I guess if you're an asshole developer, it's an exploit. If you're not an asshole, then it's a glitch. It's not a glitch, it's just a fucking bug. It's a bug you didn't think about. Hey, Star Wars, what's going on, bud? I'm fixing a ship that fell out of the sky because it didn't know how to autopilot around a planet. You know, planets are kind of big. It was trying to modify the trajectory to take me to a moon. But planets are a little bit big. Don't you think maybe an autopilot would be smart enough to make you go around a planet? I mean, they're kind of big. Apparently not, if you're in a Nova Quark. Of course, in this game, you know, not unlike life, when you're going down, I mean, you're going down. There's nothing to stop you from going down when you're going down. That's what I tell every girlfriend. When you're going down, baby, you're going down. Okay? That's all there is. You can try to stop. That's not going to work. Because I tried to, I tried to pull out of it didn't work. Gravity grabbed my ass and pulled me straight into the mountains. And I spent the last two hours trying to get this ship fixed. It was an adventure. I mean, my pocket rockets that I had in my pocket shouldn't have two of them, but I did. Neither of them would fly. Where's the shit? That's always fun. So I had to build a new pocket rocket had all the parts. That's that's lucky of me. Good thing I have a factory that doesn't work anymore. I mean, if that factory was working, I might have sold everything.
thanks to Novacorp, I had the right parts. Thank you, Novacorp, for making my mega factory sit idle. Forty-three more things to fix. Uh, I have spent many hours in the game doing this kind of bullshit. But the last time they changed the physics engine, it was so much fun. ship I was flying fell out of the sky. There wasn't anything I could do about it. Because it was not designed for the changes they put in the game. There's a broken element I would like to fix. But I cannot. I guess I'd have to move the window out of the way so I can get to the display that glitched itself into the window. I don't know, man. I mean, as a developer, it might have occurred to me to make the autopilot steer you around big things like planets. Maybe. Maybe why it don't work for NASA. When converting between kilometers and miles, I might have put a little code in to Sandy Check to make sure it actually worked. That's why I don't work in NASA. You missed out on the on the bratty witch who cordially invited me to eat her ass. And then she got banned. Because I didn't think she was serious. And nothing pisses me off more than people pretending to give me an erection. I thought you'd eat my ass, but I'm just kidding. Ah. Shit, that's annoying. Don't joke around with things like that. I could have been the high point of my day. But instead, the high point is going to be getting the ship back in here. So I had to cordially invite Friday Witch to fuck off. I think she probably saw it coming, if she is a she. Now, she might have been a he. I don't want to discriminate, but... I don't like eating men's asses. Just not fun. I mean, an ass is probably an ass, but, you know. A man's got to have standards. Can we open the door for me, please? Thank you. Can I get this fixed somehow? I know there's something there. I can see it. This is Louise's fucking game. 
Fucking gay. Uh, I think I'll just leave it broke. I don't care. Where are my other adjusters? A bunch of broken adjusters. Where are they? Are they underneath? I thought I fixed them all. It must be on top. That must be it. They're hiding on top. Yep, look at that. Bastards. Transparent screen. Yeah, that's the one that's broken. What about the force field? Oh, it's on the other side. Shit. That's over here. It's gotta all be repaired. Man's gotta have standards. What about the vertical light? Where's the vertical light? Come on, game. Show me the vertical light. Doesn't need repair. It does need repair. I can see it's damaged. Don't tell me it doesn't need repair. the vertical light you know how much that's gonna bother me if I can't find the damn vertical light it's gonna bother me a lot shit what if I'm a completionist I can't fly I can't fly this fucking thing if it's not fixed I'm a I don't know, maybe I'm not a completionist. Maybe I'll just get in it and pretend to fly it. Because maybe I don't give a shit. Maybe that's the right approach. Uh, how can I get out of here without killing myself now? I'm on a mountain. It would be very embarrassing if I died trying to take off from a fucking mountain. Warp point is set. My interplanetary bullshit is set. I seem to have some fuel. Let's see if I can take off from the side of a mountain without dying this time. I'm stall warning, stall warning. It's a mountain, man. Nothing I can do. And it's a steep mountain. Whoop, whoop. Stall. Stall. Whoop, whoop. I better turn this off. No gyro. I don't have a gyro. I didn't try to turn on a gyro, okay? Thank you. Speed go up, speed go up. Speed don't go down. There you go. Yes, yeah, speed up, not down. Speed down, we fall. Speed up, maybe we stay in the sky, I don't know.
Altitude up, speed up, yes. And to think this was supposed to be a 20 minute errand. Three hours later. Three hours later. Now, I'm not going to engage the fucking autopilot until I'm well away from that big rock. Since the game is obviously not smart enough to know anything. So back to what I was doing since I have some time and we can all watch paint dry. I need to put my GitHub thing in the right place. Yes, I need to copy and paste this thing. If I can copy and paste. That would be so nice. Probably not going to let me, but hey, that's like... Now, is it safe to turn on the autopilot yet? I doubt it. There's still a big rock right there. Can we get aligned, please? Maybe. I don't know. Now, don't hit... Oh, shit. You're doing it again. Fuck you. I'm trying to go over there towards the left. What are you doing going towards the right? Idiot machine. Fuck. Passengers and mobilization starting. That's what got me in trouble the last time. Warp sequence initiated. Oh man, don't scream and shout at the computer. It makes them nervous. Yeah, like a gift shit. Can we paste? No, we cannot. Cannot paste. You can paste something, it's not gonna be what you want. Don't this? Fuck if I know. Get out of the way. Idiot. Warp oh, I sequence completed. I heard something warp sequence complete. Passengers right. released. Enable turn and burn. With emphasis not on burning. Now is it safe to you, autopilot? I don't know. Can you take me to where I want to be? That'd be nice. Okay, let's see. I need a I need a file name here. Is right? Okay. Uh there you go. That's what I need. You know, it might just be faster to um, just spritz the file over there automatically. It seems to be logged into the right place. But I'm in the right directory. I should just be able to spritz the file right in there. Um, I went right there and then modify some permissions. 
Easy peasy. Wow, well, I don't know why I was trying to do otherwise. I'm a genius. He likes to die when the autopilot doesn't work. Alright, so then that's CH mod 0600. Autocomplete. Hey, we got it. And then I need a config. Uh, I can just, yeah, just uh, spritz it over. But yeah. Where's my config file? There it is. Spritz it over and make some changes. Awesome. Why didn't I think of that? Uh, I might just keep it. She had some grips. Rest of this, I don't need right now. Um, can't, you can't delete from that, really? Well, that's no fun. We're not dead yet? What's going on? Autopilot braking? I guess they put that code in. so I can get on to doing something else? Like No Man's Sky? Can we do that? Is that possible? 4,000 meters seems a little high on this, on this rock. Maybe 3,000? I don't know. 4,100 seems a little high. I'm no genius. Um, view edit. Can I view edit? Um, I want to use a custom program. What custom program are we going to use? Um, I don't know, man. I'm afraid to do that. I'm afraid. I don't want to use LibreOffice for that. That's really stupid. Now I'm even more afraid. We exit this place, thank you. Oh no. Coming down. Oh, now we're going back up. That's good. Okay, I feel better about that. That's a very tight turn, sir. Freaked out about that. I feel like we need to be around 1900 meters there. Yeah, something like that. Oh, a three hour adventure for a 10 minute round trip. Wow, that's just awesome. It only cost me 400 or thereabouts uh, gold scrap. Good thing I have thousands. Alright, so guys, the plan is I'm going to land this ship without dying. Don't count on it. Because the autopilot's doing it. And then I'm going to take a break and have lunch. 
and I'm going to switch to No Man's Sky after lunch. I'd be happy to have you all hang around if you want. I'm going to build some stairs and shit in my freighter because I was doing that, and um, uh, it might be fun. I don't know. I'm just trying to figure out how stairs work. You'd think by now I would know, but not really. Hey, I'm on the ground. And I'm not dead. All right. You know there's something wrong with that. I just don't know what. I'm going to go log off. In the spot where I want to be when I log on. And do the only thing in this game that's worth doing now, which is making sure that my mining equipment is actually running. What a relief I don't have to waste all that time in that big factory I was trying to build. What a relief. All right, that's it. I'm on break. I'll be right back.